this is Vikram. Today I am going to show you how to generate a sample data from a Clover ETL tool. So let's start with creating a new graph from the Clover ETL designer. Right click the graphs new and ETL graph. Just give the name of the graph as data generator. First of all find the component data generator. Drag it to your designer. So let's drag trash on the designer. And before that, we need to decide what kind of data we need to generate. So we'll go to the metadata and create a custom and user defined metadata. Right click metadata, new, and click on user defined metadata. So what I'm going to uh, generate here is an employee data wherein which will have employee underscore ID, which is integer employee first name last name both are string and then employee underscore date of joining which is going to be a date field now my metadata is created i'm going to give a name to my data and click on finish now connect data generator to trash and select the metadata as employee for recently created okay once we have selected the metadata go to data generator and go to generator now uh, we want to map these fields to the random functions given on the left hand side so what i'm going to do is for employee first name i'll say random string value and I'll say the value from 5 letters to 10 letters and I'll assign it to first name similarly I'll add new transformation random string I'll say last name to 3 to 6 characters and let's say 5 to 6 characters and I'll assign this transformation to last name last the, sec the next thing that I'm going to do is employee date of joining so i'm going to take a random date and what i'm going to define here is i'll take date it says any date from last thousand days so i'm going to say from date to say thousand days before today and it is going to generate random date between last thousand days and today click on ok and assign it to data joining now for employee id i want a sequence to be generated so if if you see right now there is no sequence here so what we need to do is probably go on ok ok and create a new sequence here and i'm going to use a sequence as uh, in id sequence starts with one step one and click finish i'll go to the settings again for data generator and here in sequence now you can see that sequence i directly assign that sequence to employer id click on ok ok now to see how the data has been generated we have to enable a debugger here now the last part is to run this job and see if the data is getting created before that we want to make sure that how many records we want to generate let's say i want to generate 100 records so there's a property here in the basic section number of records to generate click here and write 100 records and click on apply now run the job you can see that 100 records have been passed from this connector or component to trash component right click the bug and see view data okay. now you can see that the random sequencer has created a records where every number has been sequenced by one and then we have random first name and last name and similarly we have a random date of joining i hope uh, you like this video thank you let me know if you have any concerns